All over the country, lots of homes for sale, but no takers, victims of the mortgage meltdown. A House committee says mortgage giants Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac turned a deaf ear to the danger of investing in the subprime housing markets. The CEOs of Fannie and Freddie made reckless bets that led to the downfall of their companies. But it is a myth to say they were the originators of the subprime crisis. Fundamentally, they were following the market not leading it. Former Freddie Mac head Richard Siren said it was part of the company's mission. If it had not done so, it could not have remained competitive or even relevant in the residential mortgage market we were designed to serve. This hearing underscores the partisan divide that exists over the root causes of the financial meltdown. While Democrats like Waxman blame Wall Street, Republicans are pointing the finger of blame directly at the mortgage giants. All four of you still seem to be in complete denial that Freddie and Fannie are in any way responsible for this. Your testimony says you're not accepting any blame for this at all. And you're telling us that, in fact, everyone was doing it. Your whole excuse for going to risky and unreasonable loans that are defaulting at an incredibly high rate is Everyone is doing it. If we don't do it, we'll be left out. Sure. But the former head of we Fannie Mae sure said from a competitive standpoint, it had to follow the lead of the big Wall Street banks. Cyclical. Was it temporary or was it a permanent change in the market? And we thought it was important that we couldn't afford to make the bet uh, that the changes were not going to be permanent. Meanwhile, there was some hopeful news. Pending home sales didn't drop as much as feared last month and actually rose in some areas, including parts of Florida and California. Jerry Bodlander, The Associated Press, Capitol Hill.